What's up guys, Max Maxworks here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install tow mirrors on my 2009 uh, GMC 2500 HD. Now, I recently towed about a 27 foot RV with my truck, and the truck did great, but one of the really frustrating things was that I couldn't really see anything around it, and this is an upgrade I've been planning for a while, so I decided to finally pull the trigger. One side note about the towing mirrors for this uh, model truck. I have a fully loaded truck, so mine actually has auto folding mirrors, but they're the little ones. Um, that feature was not available for auto folding or auto telescoping for the HD trucks uh, for these mirrors. So I am losing that feature set, but these do have integrated turn signals. They do have a uh, defroster in them. And as you can see, they are the new style mirrors uh, like you find on a 2015 or later truck. So I think they're gonna look really good. Plus they have this right here, which is a really bright LED clearance lamp. Uh, it's gotta be wired separately and I'll show you guys how to do that uh, to make it work the way I want it to work. But this is fully, uh, fully powered up here. And then this one down here is, uh, is manual on both sides. Plus, they uh, extend and close up manually as well. So we're not really losing any major feature set because you couldn't get that truck with auto folding mirrors if they were the tow mirrors anyway. The install is pretty straightforward. I got this kit off eBay, 140 bucks for both mirrors. They seem to be really well made. The quality of the wiring, the plug is all good. And they should plug into our factory receptacle. So I'm gonna take you guys over to the truck and show you it's pretty basic. You just unbolt the inside of the door card and remove this. And I'll show you guys how to do all that and then we'll get this fitted up on the truck and, and see the difference. Now, here you can see the factory mirror. Um, the only other feature that we're losing is this mirror is actually auto darkening as well and the new mirrors do not have that feature. Unfortunately, my automatic folding does not work on either side. So I'm not really losing anything there in that regard. Uh, these mirrors are okay, but they're really the same size as the 1500 mirrors. Uh, and they, they're really just too small for a heavy duty truck. And so we're going to take them off and replace them. And this is all pretty much straight bolt on. Here's our old mirror off, and you can see it's got two plugs on it. Uh, this one, the white one, controls the uh, the memory function and the auto dim and the automatic lowering when you hit reverse and stuff. If you have those options enabled, then the black one handles all the turn signal and standard power features. So now we're going to bring our new mirror over here and mount it up to the door and figure out how we're going to do all of our wiring. So there we go. Uh, the cool thing is, is this thing's already integrated the way I want it. So when we hit the flashers, uh, you can see that it flashes on the inside of the glass. And flashes here on the outside. And these are not DRLs because the DRLs are on right now. So this is already wired the way I want. The only thing left is this guy. Now, now this whole affair is pretty straightforward. The only really not fun thing about it is running this wire. And this is the wire that goes to that uh, external light and we're gonna eventually wire it into the reverse. But you gotta get it through this grommet here in the door uh, and into the cab. And the easiest way I found of doing that is to use a piece of uh, TIG wire or something similar like that to feed it in from the inside of the cab. And then basically stick your hand down in here and, and just kind of push it through with your fingers and eventually pops out and it just plugs into here and now we have all of our wiring done we can put this door back together the process on the other side is exactly the same um, the only thing I want to point out is it's good to go through and tighten these tighten this one tighten this one tighten this one then go back tighten this one and go around several times because there's a piece of foam behind here and it's really got to take up the slack otherwise you're gonna end up with mirrors that shake all over the place which is really annoying so that's pretty much it for this um, we're, uh, I'm going to take some time and do the other door real quick and get everything all buttoned back up and then I'll bring you guys back and show you how we wire up the uh, reverse lights. So there you go, that's what it looks like with the tow mirror on one side and the standard mirror on the other. And you can see the tow mirror really fits the big bolt 
face of the truck a lot better. Now the gray wire right here doesn't matter. Uh, you can just cut it off and I grounded it to this bolt, but you can ground it anywhere you want. Really the white wire is the only one we have to run to our source. And so I looked around, there doesn't seem to be a good way to wire it to the reverse lights other than to go to the reverse camera, which actually has another power wire on it. So when you go in reverse, uh, that wire gets ignited on both ends and I have it wired into the tail light, so it should come on over here as well. So that involves taking out the head unit again, um, which is kind of shitty. Maybe somebody else has a better idea, but this is really the best I can do, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we got a little housekeeping to take care of, but that's pretty much it. What you see right here, this wire goes back uh, along the video line to the rear turn sig or, uh, backup camera. And all we did was we jumped in this. So whenever I put it in reverse, both of those side lights will light up. Uh, so now I just gotta clean a few things up, get everything all back together. I've had this head unit out probably like a dozen times by now, so it'll go back together pretty quick. And I'll give you guys a demonstration of all the features. There you have it. Installation's not too bad. Total install time with all the custom wiring and stuff was uh, right around an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Um, they slide out manually. They feel really pretty quality. The only thing I've noticed is that this one sits at a slightly different angle uh, than the driver's side. But I took a look at pictures of OEM tow haul trucks and they sit like that too. So it's kind of interesting that, that this one's angled slightly uh, more in towards the body than the driver's side one is. But they look really good from the front of the truck, from the side of the truck. I do like the extra illumination and the ability to see everything down here as well as everything up here it really is pretty handy. Um, so I'm pretty happy with them. All in all, for about 140 bucks, it's a, a worthwhile upgrade for me because I pull a lot of trailers and stuff like that. So I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I'm Max, this is MaxWorks, I want to thank you guys for watching, make sure to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, there's more cool videos on the way, peace.